Hi everybody. We have a litter update video for these Labradoodle puppies today. We have 12 of the 14 puppies that were born to MJ and these Labradoodle puppies are 16 days old. Hi, I'm Claire from Van Nile Doodles and in today's video we are going to go through each of the individual puppies in our Big Sky litter and we're going to tell you about what they weigh and show you their beautiful eyes. Everyone in the litter has opened their eyes now and these Labradoodle puppies are so excited to get to show you their pretty little faces with their eyes open. Now today when we do this video for a big sky litter of the medium sized Labradoodle puppies, we're going to do 12 of the 14 puppies. And that's because at birth we took two of the puppies and we gave them to Hazel who had puppies just after MJ. Because 14 puppies is one heck of a lot for one mama dog. But as you can see here with MJ, she is managing just beautifully with the 12 puppies. And look at this style of nursing. Isn't this an innovative? approach to make sure that you get in there when there's so much competition going on. These puppies are all doing really well. These little Labradoodles have figured out all on their own how to alternate so that everyone gets a turn at the milk bar and nobody is missing out. We haven't had to do anything to help either the little Labradoodle puppies or Mama Labradoodle uh, MJ work that out. They've done it all on their own. And MJ is doing just great. She is a happy girl and you'll see she's panting right now. And the reason why she's panting is because we always have the ambient temperature warmed up for the puppies. So right now it's always at 21 degrees. So the puppies are still not particularly good at maintaining their own body temperature. Now that they're uh, 16 days old, they're, they're uh, able to do it to a degree, but they, they can still get chilled. And if you'll see on this puppy here, you'll see how the fur is wet. And that's from MJ licking the puppies all the time. And then this one with the interesting nursing style that was upside down, uh, he too also was wet from MJ licking them. So why are they wet from her licking them? Well, first of all, she cleans them all of the time to keep them nice and tidy. But also the puppies still are not able to eliminate on their own. So MJ stimulates them to go to the bathroom by licking them. And so that's why you'll find that they often have a lot of wet patches on their tummies there. Not so much wet on the back. Uh, she does clean them off around there, but she'll also lick their faces and everything. So because the, um, these little Labradoodles get wet, we want to make sure that the room temperature is nice and warm so that they're never chilled. So now what we're going to do is go through each of the puppies and we're going to do them in birth order. We'll just give you a little bit of information about their color and pattern and tell you what their current weights are. You'll be surprised at their weights. You would think in a litter of 12 puppies that perhaps they wouldn't gain quite as much as in a litter of say just four puppies. Not the case at all. MJ's a remarkable mama. And then we're also going to be publishing our 16 day update for Hazel's litter because her puppies also have opened their eyes. And in that uh, a YouTube video, you'll see MJ's other two puppies that are living with Hazel. The puppies will remain with the different moms until they're weaned and then the two puppies who are with Hazel will be reintegrated back into the group once they're weaned. So our first born puppy in this litter is Pink Collar Girl. And here she is. Look at the world, sweetheart. Hi. Look at you, everybody, your pretty eyes. So you'll see that the puppies all have beautiful eyes that are mostly blue right now. And that's because puppies are born with blue eyes. Their eye color will change as they get a little bit older and they will end up darkening. So if you have a chocolate dog, the color of the eyes is going to be chocolate. Oh, MJ just got out and one of the puppies was so attached to her that the puppy went out with her. I tell you, the suction is unbelievable. So Reynolds just had to put the puppy back in. Oh, MJ, that was not what we wanted to do with your puppy. So little pink collar girl. She is a beautiful chocolate girl, a lovely rich chocolate color. And she has this beautiful dark chocolate color because her mom's chocolate and her daddy Rocky is black, but he carries for chocolate. And that black helps to give us a darker chocolate color if the genes all line up properly. 
So Pink Collar Girl is now 567 grams. When Pink was born, she weighed in at 217 grams. So just an awesome weight gain, really, really nicely done, MJ. And our little beautiful Labradoodle puppy, Pink Collar Girl. Next is Green Collar Boy. And in this litter of 14, we have nine boys and five girls. And it takes a little longer in these videos for me to find all the puppies because there's so many of them. There we go. So there was MJ giving little green collar man quite the bath. So he's a, he's got a real wetness going on about him there. His little face is all wet. But you can see his pretty little eyes now that they're open. His coat's just gleaming even when it's not wet. <laughs> it is a beautiful, shiny, shiny, gorgeous black color. It's just a delicious color. So rich and so shiny. Hello. Hi. And then that cute little goatee that just sets everything off. Green Collar Boy is now 507 grams. And when he was born, he was 221 grams. So just doing fabulously. Really just exactly where we would like them to be on the weight. And as you can see, this puppy here, which I think is gray collar girl, or uh, boy, silver collar, look at how wet MJ's got this puppy. My goodness, you're going to go uh, run out of saliva there, girl. MJ does drink a lot of water, and I think that's probably because she is so fastidious with her puppies and likes to bath them so much. Seems to be a bit of an obsession, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yes, but they're always clean and sparkly. You're such a good girl. You are just such a good mama dog. Yes. And now we have Purple Collar Boy, another one of these beautiful, rich, dark chocolate color puppies. And again, there's those beautiful blue eyes. Now the puppies can't hear yet, but they already are giving wonderful eye contact. They're very responsive. Uh, they're used to being handled multiple times a day. They uh, have had their nails cut a few times. They get picked up and snuggled and petted, and I'm in there with them in the box, although sometimes it's a little hard to fit in the box with them. And Purple Collar is now 825 grams. This is a chunky monkey puppy. Yeah, this is a really nice big size Labradoodle puppy. Purple Collar, when he was born, was 268 grams. He clearly knows his way to the best spot at the milk bar. So that's purple. Next is Dark Blue Collar Boy. Now we're going to have to do a little bit of poking around here to find where Dark Blue Collar is because everybody's all in a big pile here. They're all getting ready for the Super Bowl and piling on already. Oh my goodness, here MJ, can I just have a little look? Yeah, do you know where Dark Blue Collar is? Hey, where is Dark Blue? There's Light Blue. Yeah, there's that's Peach over there. We've got Orange. And I think, no, you're yellow. Oh my goodness, where is dark blue hiding? There's purple, green. Oh, we've got it, got one over here in behind. And I'll bet you that's dark blue who we're looking for. Nope, that's brown. Did you lose another puppy back there behind you? Hey, oh yeah, here's one. They just get in every little nook and cranny so they get their turn at the milk bar and that's where dark blue collar is I'm just trying to get him to let go <laughs> which is <laughs> there we go thanks for the assist mj that was really helpful of you to help me out there with getting dark blue collar oh my goodness mr man you didn't want to come out did you no you were having such a good feed so this is our first sable puppy. And now that's what MJ is. So this little fellow is marked and colored exactly like MJ. So you'll see there's a little stripe down the back and then the darker colors on the face and the ears. And these are going to change and clear out. So if you look at MJ's face, You'll see where her mustache is, if she would like to show us how beautiful she is. You can see how it's all light. When she was born, this was quite a bit darker. So th this little fellow is going to end up with very, very similar coloring and marking to his mama MJ and just be a gorgeous boy. And Mr. Dark Blue is 870 grams. He is the second biggest puppy in the litter. And when he was born, what did you weigh when you were born? 
he was 265 grams. So um, you haven't had any problem gaining weight. Now you'll wonder why isn't this puppy a phantom? Because if you look at the side of his face, you'll see he has the phantom tan points there and on over his eyebrows and also on his legs. But that's because he actually is a sable. And sable can often present as phantom initially, but then as the color clears out, then the, then the phantom parts disappear and then they become a sable. And it's this dark line down the back here that always is a dead giveaway that this is a sable puppy. Yes, a beautiful sable puppy. So that's dark blue. Next is light blue. Now I had found light blue before. Oh, here we go. One that's not hiding. I tell you, I think next time when we do uh, our uh, video update for these little labradoodles, we won't have mom in here so I can find them. So this is our first caramel puppy. And actually this is not a caramel, this is an apricot. And, wh and why is this puppy an apricot and not a caramel? Nose color, the nose is black. Now that nose came from Daddy Rocky because MJ is chocolate and has a brown nose. And Rocky is black and has a black nose. And that chocolate and black got together and gave us this beautiful, beautiful apricot puppy. This is a gorgeous puppy, beautiful little head. Look at those lovely little tiny ears high set up there, just really cute. MJ's not too excited about me moving them around so much. And Mr. Light Blue Collar is 661 grams. And when he was born, he was 208 grams. Again, just doing such a fabulous job in the weight department. And you'll see too, the pads on his feet are black to match his black nose. Hee <laughs> So that's our handsome little apricot man, Mr. Light Blue Collar. Oh, so MJ's, um, thinking that she wants to get out. So we're just going to make sure she doesn't take any puppies with her. It's a little bit hard sometimes for them to detach. There we go. Good. Ooh, now it'll be a little easier to find them. <laughs> uh, next on our list is orange collar. So now orange collar, wherefore art thou? Here you are. Here is our orange collar. Back to the chocolate variety for this puppy. This is a dark chocolate and has uh, some really pretty abstract markings. So we've got these beautiful four white dipped paws and then we've got lots of white on the chin and in the chest area here. So it's really striking when you have that really nice rich dark brown with the white showing it off, sort of like when you have a black and white puppy. And that little white goatee just sets this little one's face off very beautifully. And there's his beautiful blue eyes. And again, this puppy has those really pretty, tiny, high set ears that just makes that whole Labradoodle face so appealing. Hey, pretty boy. And Mr. Orange Collar, this is the biggest puppy in the litter this, at this point. And you can see he is quite a substantial little fellow. There's no lacking of groceries for Orange Collar. He is 886 grams. And when he was born, he was 238. So that's a pretty substantial weight gain in 16 days. Oh my goodness, you are such a big boy. Next, we finally have another girl, and that's Red Collar. Red Collar girl is, and you can tell what I'm going to say because there's that stripe, that reverse skunk stripe. This is a sable. This little girl is going to be uh, just very similar to MJ again. She has that same beautiful chocolate sable pattern, just gorgeous. The color with all the different shades and tones is really very striking. And then she has some really pretty white markings up here under her collar, which we will just can't see very well. And she's got the goatee, and then she's got some white on her chest, and then she's and she's got those white dip toes. Oh, and I guess she has a voice. Oh, okay. So we won't upset her too much. We'll see if she'll settle down. And if she's not very happy, we'll put her back. But we'll see if we can't get her to change her mind and decide, oh, it's not that bad being up here. Everybody wants to look at your pretty face and look at those eyes. Oh, there we go, good girl. Oh, yes, yes, yes. She thinks that maybe there's something to eat in my nose. I don't think it's probably too tasty, no. <laughs> so red color girl is 758 grams. 
And when she was born, she was 237 grams. So she's done very nicely. And you can see she's very anxious to go and find something else that she can fill her tummy up with. That's a good girl, Red. Next on the list is Yellow Collar Boy. Where are you? Yellow, yellow. Here we go, right here. And yellow is very similar to Red Collar in that he too is a sable, but you can tell He's a little bit of a different chocolate colored sable than red color girl. He has more red in his coat color. He's not quite as dark as red color girl. So when he uh, matures and has his sable coloring all cleared out, he'll be more of a sort of a parchmenty shade, a little bit lighter than this color here on the top of his head. It'll be very unique. Sables are all unique and individual. Each one of them is different from the other. This little fellow has a really nice little face. You can see he's got that stubby nose, really strong stop, and again, the cute little ears high up on the head. And this is one of the things we do with the puppies all the time, is we touch them around their ears, their faces. We get them used to having someone come in from the side and touch them so that they aren't shy of being touched all over their face. Yeah, that's you. And Mr. Yellow Collar, how much do you weigh? Do you know? He's 791 grams. And when he was born, he weighed 256 grams. Yeah. Now I'm talking to the puppies all the time. They still can't hear though. Their ears are not open yet. Their ears will start to open over the next week. And uh, that's always a really exciting time because then when we come in to see them, they start to pick their heads up and notice that we're there. Next is silver collar, gray collar. And that is this puppy here, right? Yes, that's you here. Underneath orange collar. Let's see if we can pry you out there. There we go. And oh my goodness, another one of these soaking wet puppies. Look at how wet your bag is from your mama washing you. This is a beautiful, very dark chocolate puppy. Almost black to the degree that he is so dark. And he too has those beautiful brown, uh, blue eyes rather that he's showing everybody. Very, very rich coloring on this puppy. And do you have any white on you? This is another thing we do with the puppies is we put them upside down for a brief period. And no, this puppy has no white. I believe this is the, oh, probably the only puppy that doesn't have white. Just a, all very dark chocolate. Mmm, yummy, so delicious. Oh, yes, what a delicious puppy you are. This puppy is 681 grams. And when he was born, he weighed 244 grams. So you can see, I'm telling you, their birth weights, just so you can see how incredibly well they are all doing with their weight gain and what a great job MJ is doing in providing them with really wonderful nutrition. Now finally we have a girl, another girl. We don't hardly have any females here and it's another sable. This again is a beautiful little chocolate sable girl. Very similar to MJ once again. This little fun has just the sweetest little face. Very, very cute little face. Very nicely put together little puppy. Hi, hi. I love how her eye contact is so strong. All she can see really from looking at me is a blob. She's not getting a lot there, but she does know where to go, what to look for. And what do you have here? Do you have any white on you? Nope, I don't think you have any white. She has a little bit of white under her foot there. Do you? No, nope. that was just the light. Maybe this puppy also doesn't have white. Nope, no white on you either. No white on you either. So this is the kind of thing we like to see when the puppies are upside down, completely relaxed and at ease. Not at all fussed that someone's turned her upside down, rubbing her tummy, touching her little paws. Mm, there maybe is a little smidge of white in these paws, but certainly not very much. And this little princess here, she, Miss Brown Collar, she's 719 grams. And when she was born, she was 214 grams. So we like to see puppies double their birth weight in the first week to 10 days. And now these puppies are 16 days old. And so certainly they're having no problems with more than doubling and keeping up that really rapid and solid weight gain. What a sweetie you are. I don't want to put you back. Yeah, what a bug. There you go, my little bug, yeah. And last but not least, we have Black Collar, 
who is also a girl. And that's this little pretty one here. Right, I got the right one, just double check. Yeah, hi. And this is our other caramel in the litter. Now this puppy, you can see here, she will be an apricot. You can see her feet are black. So that means she's going to be an apricot, but you can see her nose is not all filled in yet like the other puppies was. So hers is just taking a little longer. Now this little puppy is uh, with that apricot. You can't see her white markings quite as much, but she definitely has the white on the toes. We got some white around the neck here, a little bit of lighter color on the face, and lots and lots of white on our tummy. And Miss Black Color Girl, she was 572 grams when she was born. Hi, hi, little baby. Hi. And, or sorry, she's 572 grams now. When she was born, she was 220 grams. Yeah, hi. Oh, and this is not the last one we have because we have peach collar after you. Yes. So you can see that they're really used to being handled a lot and being fussed with and put upside down, having their tummies rubbed. And you can tell we've done lots of nail trimming and working with the feet. So there's no hesitation with that or touching on the side of the face, top of the head very comfortable with having all parts of her body handled and used to people giving her all sorts of kisses. Yes, an awful lot of kisses. So that's our pretty little black collar girl. And last but not least is our peach collar girl. And this is your peach, aren't you? No, you're not peach, you're light blue. Peach, where's peach, peach, peach? I've lost my little peach. Oh, yeah, I think peach is hiding over here. So you can see in these donut beds, one of the things that the puppies love to do is to snuggle right in. You can see little green color here. They snuggle right into the sides because it's like the bed is giving them a hug and it's also mimicking the feeling of being resting right up against Mama Labradoodle MJ. So it provides them with lots of comfort and even when she's out of the nest it gives her a chance to be away from the puppies and then the puppies are always feeling really safe and secure because they have these nice high sides and it mimics the feeling of having mom there. Now we have our little peach girl. Peach is the tiny one in the litter. Oh she's just the tiniest. She is the third to the last one born. The two that are with Hazel are the last two born. And you can see she's a beautiful chocolate sable as well. She looks like a phantom, but she's not. She's a sable. Really, really cute little face. She has the sweetest little features. I think because she's a little bit tinier than everyone else, it's because she's petite. She seems so extra adorable. And Peach is 443 grams. So she is exactly half the weight of Orange, who's 886 grams. So quite a big difference within the litter from this little lady to Mr. Orange Collar. Oh no, this is not a lady, you're a little boy. Now does this mean this puppy is going to be the smallest puppy always when they mature? Not at all. Puppies tend to change their weights and their patterns. So Mr. Orange Collar may slow down on his weight gain and Mr. Peach Collar here, he may just take off at some point and easily catch up with Orange. So what you see today is not necessarily what you're going to get in two weeks from now, two months from now, or right up until they finish growing when they're a year old. Mr. Peach was 181 grams when he was born. He was the smallest when he was born and he remains the smallest puppy now. So that's pretty normal when they're 16 uh, days old. We don't expect them to go from being the smallest to the biggest within uh, just a 16 day period. That would be unusual. But you can see here how they like resting on each other. Uh, that's one of the caramels over there having a great time resting uh, her head there. That's brown collar girl. She says, I'm just gonna use purple collar as a, as a nice pillow because purple's a lot bigger than I am. But you can see here, all of these puppies are, except for green collar, which is over here, they're all various shades of brown. 
even the apricot is a shade of, of a brown dog. Just has more red in it, and really more yellow in it. That's a yellow dog um, with the apricot there. But they're all shades and hues and somewhere on the rainbow there that are all pretty closely related to a chocolate color. Obviously black is different and uh, the darkest of them. And then the two yellow dogs here, um, the apricots, they're obviously the lightest in the litter. And the sables, well, they're going to keep changing. Every week you'll see them change their color a little bit. So the next big thing that will happen for this litter is they are going to move out of the maternity ward and they're going to go into our doodle den. They're ready to go. They're starting to walk around on all fours. They're actually quite mobile. And uh, before you know it, they'll be able to get out of the whelping box. So uh, we move them then when they're uh, on all fours and ready to rock and roll. We put them in the doodle den where they have more space to explore. So that will probably happen uh, later this weekend, maybe next week, and we'll move them in there. And then the next thing that will happen is that their ears will, op will open. So once they're able to hear and we have them moved, then we'll give you another litter update and let you know how all of that went and how they're settling into their new home. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have a chance, give us a thumbs up if you did like it. And uh, you may wish to subscribe so that you get notifications of all of our litter updates. We don't do them on a fixed schedule anymore. We do them in relation to major events within the litter. And if you have any questions about these little Labradoodle puppies or their mama, please don't hesitate to ask below. Um, we do only sell our dogs within Canada and we do not have any openings for puppies through to 2020. We are not accepting reservations for puppies at this time. So we hope that uh, you really liked meeting all the puppies and seeing all those beautiful eyes. And we'll see you again once we have ears open and everybody has moved into their new condos. Thanks so much for watching. Look at all the sables in a row. Yeah.